name is Delroy, and I'm so honored to be one of the church councils here at Mendocinos. I would like to remind you of the consistency of God's promises, love, care, and protection. We make promises, we make vows to one another. We sign contracts, we work uh, for work, for mortgages, for bank accounts, and even for marriages. Some of these we break, some we forget, some we honor very much. I'd like to remind you of a promise in Genesis 12, God chose an insignificant man and said to him, leave your home, leave your father, leave your surroundings, leave your familiar friends, your comfort zone, and I'm gonna take you on a journey. This promise, this man, he didn't know what the promises were, but he still went, he obeyed God. But en route, God said to him, I will make you a great nation. He says, think of this dust of the, feet, uh, of, that you, uh, of the earth. Your seed is gonna be more than the dust of the earth. God emphasizes further. He said, look at the stars. You can tell that this was now night. He said, look at the stars. If you can number them, so will your seed be. In obedience to God's voice, this man, Abraham, started out. God said to him, I will bless you. I will bless all those who bless you, and all who curse you, I will curse them. Remember this verse, Genesis 12, 3. All the families of the earth will be blessed, but part of this blessing is not for you now, but for your seeds. In Proverbs we read, a wise man leave an inheritance for his children. What inheritance are you leaving for your children? But part of this inheritance, we know that's gonna be many years ahead, many years to come. We may want to also limit what God is gonna bless us with. But God is saying, God said to, to Abraham, look east, look west. Look north, look south. All this land is going to be your seeds to inherit. In um, Genesis 5, 15, 5, we read, um, numberless like the stars in heaven. Abraham believed God. God also wanted to bless him even more because his name, Abraham, was probably insignificant to what God is going to bless him with. So I said, I will change your name. He says, I will change your name from exalted father, or father of multitude, to be fathers of nations. Could you imagine that? Exalted father. In actual fact, king is going to be coming from you. In fact, 22 kings. Between Abraham, who died at 175. Isaac, his son, died at 180. Jacob, his grandson, died at 175. God repeated his promises 11 times. End result. Today, as believers, we are inheritance of these promises through Jesus Christ. He, his life, his death, his resurrection, and his ascension we have the fulfillment of the whole of God's promises. Genesis 12, 3. The all the families of the earth. His Holy Spirit to bless all the families of the earth. Today, are you enjoying that, that, uh, that promise?